I'm here by this, this massive tree that you can see and it's, it's quite high, it goes right up. But the soil on the rainforest floor, it's alluvial soil this, this deep in the valley, which means it's nutrient rich, but it doesn't go deep, it's actually quite shallow. So what this tree has done is it's got these buttress roots. These are roots that you can see they go out, kind of like legs to keep the tree stable. And these roots come across all the way across here and up the mountain as well as out and you'll find that these roots actually are as wide as the tree is high and it's still able to sustain itself because the alluvial soil is so rich in nutrients while keeping itself stable and ensuring that it can stay incredibly tall continue to feed itself and be stable at the same time. It's absolutely incredible. I've just been looking at one of the red cedar trees uh, that's here that hasn't been cut down. And this tree is absolutely massive. So I'll stand behind it. Here it is, it's a red cedar. This tree is 200 years old. It's just a baby. Red cedar trees take a thousand years to reach to full maturation. Think about how many trees were cut down for logging that will take a millennia to replace. This is one of the big problems we have in conserving rainforests. We can cut down and destroy them so much quicker than they can be replaced. So one of the key things the National Park and Wildlife Services try and do is raise awareness and education with students about the need to push and to lobby for future generations to keep as much rainforest as possible before they're all born.